Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. This is July Favourites, which is basically a regular monthly roundup of all of the updates. The apps I've been checking out, the tech I've been checking out, and a few updates on the channel and things like that. Stuff that I think will interest you guys. And July, although it's already August, this has been a long month uh, for me. I've been on vacation, things like that, so I wanted to go through a few things. Now, the first thing is news. Now, of course, you may have noticed the quality of the camera is a little better. I am, at the moment, working through a really nice rebrand in terms of retouching a few things of my process. Now, I don't... <clears throat> Now I did spend a lot of time when I started out using like a really basic camera phone. So I used like um, my LG G4 for like three years. So I didn't really upgrade much at all. So what I'll be doing on the channel is you'll see a sort of fresh new look appear over the next couple, maybe of days and weeks now. It depends on how fast we do it. The quality of the content should get a lot better with this camera. It may take a few days to get used to it. And also, we're going to be adding some really nice touches like PDFs and more detailed ebooks and things like that that you can go away and download and enjoy. So let's get stuck in. Let's start with Cyprus. You guys may have noticed that I was away for like 15 of the last 30 days and you may have seen that just on social media. I was probably just less on it and, and things like that. I was in Cyprus for about two weeks and it was a fantastic two weeks. I went away with uh, my fiance and her parents. It was really good fun actually. So we stayed in like, I would say the bottom right hand corner or left hand corner. I'll show you the map. But basically, uh, we stayed there for two weeks. It was a nice relax. It gave me an opportunity to relax a little, but also to like, uh, you know, catch up with a bit of strategy work with work. So I sort of got a bit of time uh, to like work on that too. I, I did a lot of sleeping. There was actually a photo on Instagram that I posted of me sleeping and also uh, a lot of focus work on the YouTube channel. So I did plan a lot of content for the next couple of weeks. And also, I did a lot of running too, so I did some really nice morning runs and evening runs. I clocked up about 30 to 35k, which was nice over that period of time. So I did get a chance to get sort of my body working and things like that. Anyway, moving on from that, uh, I wanted to talk about a few apps that have sort of been on my mind recently. Now, you guys probably noticed that I did a review of an app called Shift. I, I did talk about this a lot, like a couple of months ago, I was sharing this a lot. I'm actually very confident that this app can be useful, especially in such a busy society that we have today. A work-life app, one that has a work to-do list and a personal to-do list, is actually very beneficial because you pretty much avoid having to necessarily switch or understand it. Now there are features inside of Things 3 where you can do like this evening, I love that feature, but there's nothing to distinctly have two to-do lists necessarily. You can have two areas and projects and things like that, but there's nothing that distinctly separates them in the colorization, access and things like that. So having a tool like this could be pretty exciting. So I'll include my review of Shift in the description below. The next app I'm checking out is called Notion. Now I don't know actually know whether it's available publicly yet. I think I just got access. I don't know how I got access, but essentially Notion is, I did a full review on it below as well. It's essentially like this uh, wiki notes task, like bringing them all together. But what I really call it is like a really, it's like Dropbox paper being an intranet, if you know what I mean. It's sort of like having your own intranet, like a little base where you can plan stuff. I'll show you a few ways I'm using it in the moment, but I'm looking to go deeper with this because it's quite a cool way. I've actually pivoted it as my new form of planning videos, so I'm going to see how that goes for the next couple of weeks. But yeah, I'll include that in the description below. I think that's a cool app. Evernote have updated uh, their tables and image galleries as well. They've got some beautiful new tables, only available for Windows at the moment, I believe, but it is coming to Mac and also the iOS and Android applications too. They've also got a nice new image gallery as well. So they're really trying to fix some issues that they've had in the past. Now, once they fix the, fix the tables, it does fix a lot of problems for a lot of use cases. So that could be very beneficial, but let's keep an eye on the things that Evernote are doing in the next couple of weeks. Another application I'm checking out is one called Dials. I actually saw it, I think it was on the planet of apps. It, I didn't actually watch it, but I saw it come up on my uh, feed and I was like, download it. It's basically like a dial calendar uh, experience. It's a bit like what Vantage does in the context 
that it makes it a, a visual experience, but this is actually a dial and actually like helps you organize content. I will show you with some demos, helps you organize uh, your sort of events and activities on a dial system, which is quite nice. So I will be checking that out and something maybe you want to check out too. And one off the wall suggestion, I've actually downloaded, I, I've been, I played an app and I rarely play games, guys. So I literally have zero games on my phone. Uh, apart from recently, where I've been downloading a few games just to like share on World of Apps, which is an anchor station and podcast you should follow. Um, but I've actually been playing Motorsport Manager 2 quite a lot. I mean, 15 minutes in the evening I'm talking about, where you, I played Motorsport Manager 1, loved it. Motorsport Manager 2 is amazing. If you're a massive Motorsports fan, at Ferrari, then you will love this game, I think. This is a really relaxed experience, but a good way. It's got so much level of detail in it. And uh, if you're anyone who loves F1 and wants to manage a team, this is quite cool. So I'll include that in the description below. It's three bucks, $3.99, I think, which I was willing to pay because I knew that the previous app had such good like consistency. It never shut down, never broke. It was just really solid. So yeah, the, the tech side of things, I now have this Canon EOS 70D. Um, I actually got recommended it by Steve, who's helping me film a new series, which I'll mention near the end. Uh, it's a Canon 70D. It's pretty good so far. I got a rodeo mic to go on the top. It's a shotgun mic at the top. And it's sort of going to help me <laughs> bring this content to a new era. So you'll be seeing this camera used a lot more to film such new content and sort of uh, make this channel a bit crispier. The only other thing in tech is I'm going to be doing a full review of the standing desk in the front room just because I want to do a full review on it because it's been three months that I've been using it now and I want to sort of document my usage of it. I found it a very useful experience, like coming from someone who used to sit down and who used to go to cafes just to stand up in certain cafes this has been a real game changer for me at home. It's made my whole home experience a lot easier. Now talking about home, I will be releasing a new series called Remote Work. Uh, I, I managed to get sponsorship for this series from a project management application called Hive. This series will focus solely, it's a 10 part series on remote work, helping you learn about the world of remote work, giving you advice, uh, transition information, you know, uh, like task managers, communication tools, just everything and everything around remote work that will be useful for, for your daily routine. Anyway guys, although this has been a short July favourites, I'm looking forward to talking a little more in next month's August favourites about what I've learned this month from the camera and things like that. I'm going to be picking up some awesome apps for you guys because I know that you love them. If you want to check out all those apps I mentioned, go in the description below. Uh, there'll be more information in the description below in future videos because I'm going to be posting PDFs with all the information and access. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's feature. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't because then you get regular videos and hit that like bell button for the notifications. And also make sure to join the weekly email newsletter which I'm going to be refreshing very soon, which will be very exciting. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive. I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.